Today, we're going to be going through how to set up your Avalon Q. Inside of the Avalon Q, we're going to have our user manual, your Wi Fi receiver, and some anti slip feet to place underneath your miner. Underneath the user manual is where you're going to find the power cable and a handy mining pool card should you need help setting up your pool information. So remove this top cover here. You will find your miner. Now that we've unboxed our Avalon Q, we're gonna take out our power cable and our Wi-Fi adapter. Since we are going to be setting this up via Wi-Fi, we're going to go ahead and first plug in our Wi-Fi adapter. If you are going to use a Ethernet cable, you would go ahead and insert that in now. Turn your miner around and insert your power cable. And turn the miner on. Now, once you power your unit on, the white light will go through a slow blinking effect and then turn blue once your device is ready to be connected. Once you've powered on your miner, you're gonna download the Avalon Family app. Once you get to the main page, you can skip the login or create an account. Once here, I'm gonna click in the top right, add new devices. So you're gonna make sure you're within range of the device, have your Bluetooth turned on and hit search. Now I see the device name that is being displayed on my Avalon Q. I'm going to confirm the name that's on the device. Hit connect. From here, now I'm going to enter in my Wi-Fi SSID along with my Wi-Fi password. Once you've entered your Wi-Fi network and password, click save. Once saved, you'll now go check on your miner. Should be yellow as it's connecting to the network. Okay, we're now back at our miner and we see a solid yellow light here indicating that the miner is ready for us to enter our pool information. So let's go back into the Avalon family app and enter that now. Okay, now we are back in our Avalon family app. We're gonna click on our miner. It's gonna recommend us to change the password. Original default password is admin. And then you would click and create a new password for your device. Once you've done that, you're going to click save. Now your device is going to restart. Once we click on our device, you'll see down in the bottom, it says mining pool information is unavailable. It's because we have not set it yet. So we are going to set our pool information now. Click on pool configuration. So here's where you're going to enter in all your pool information going to enter in your stratum. For this example, we're using solo CK pool. And then for the worker name, you're going to enter in your Bitcoin address and then your password. Click save. And your miner is once again going to restart. Once your miner comes back on, you should see it go from the white light to now a solid green light. Back at our miner, you'll see that we have a solid green light and our miner is slowly ramping up. As you can see, back in the Avalon family app, our Avalon Q has ramped up and is now doing 82.81 terahash in standard mode. And that is how you set up your Avalon queue.